Uh, so I've done a bit more training, a bit more learning, and uh, I think we can get much closer this time. We'll at least get off the ground, uh, probably get somewhere near the moon, uh, but we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see, let's resume like this one. Right here, I think this is our save we had from yesterday. Uh, now that I know how to set this stuff up. Uh, let's see, launch pad with the Kerbal X. I don't really know what the difference is between these, but... Uh, yeah, let's edit this vessel real quick. I think more to get more people in it. I guess what we want to do. Uh, let's see... Okay, wait. No. Where's my... There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be going to the moon. I need to get our crew ready. We need it. people put in it. Uh, okay. Let's go back to... Uh, Space Center. We need some Kerbals to put in this thing. But yeah, this is the sandbox mode. We should be doing thing a lot better here. Let's see. I guess we don't have any Kerbals to put in here. Uh, okay, no, we have. Okay. Uh, we need Engineer. Let's see. Lots of Courage and less Stupidity actually would be pretty good. Uh, for him, uh, what else do we need? Scientist. Uh, okay, plenty of courage. I think a little less stupidity here. Okay, we got three assigned. Okay, these are, okay, these are already on. Okay, so we might already have them here. All right, launch pad. Let's get them on the Kerbal X. All right, we should be good to go here. Uh, should be doing much better than last time because uh, I've learned different things. And one of the main problems we had was the uh, the lock was on the stages. So you can see right here in the... Oh, hold on. Let me move my webcam real quick. Uh, I think if I can. Uh, let's see. Yeah, how do I move my webcam? Uh, back to the editor, I guess. Uh, webcam, there we go. Uh, is there any good spots for this? I guess over here would be the best spot. I think you guys are good there. There we go. Yeah, all we're covering up is our uh, three uh, Kerbals right here. Alright, just get this stuff moved over. Alright, so yeah, this uh, stage light here on the bottom left you see is blinking green. It was purple the entire time. Which means it's locked, which I can... I can't even lock it there, so we should be okay. So now I just hit. Oh, our throttles are not high enough. There we go. Actually, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna revert the flight. So see, it launches. Uh, but I need to do a little bit of prep here. Uh, this is gonna actually make sense once we get this. So. Uh, once it gets loaded here, I'll show you everything we're going to be doing here. Okay, so we have all this. Here's the map. Okay, we want to get to... Oh yeah, this is... Okay, I see what this is. Uh, so after the stream, I immediately figured this stuff out. I actually did a little bit of looking at the tutorials and stuff, and so this is the one that's headed towards the moon. Uh, and that's purely before I did some more uh, earlier today. So that one's already on the way. We're going to be launching with our own... Uh, here in a sec. So what we need to do is get to a uh, launch orbit or uh, an orbit around the around the Kerbin. So all right, we can go back. So we're going to pull out some stuff here and toggle our SAS. Okay, we're gonna get to here, and let's see. I need to. Is there anything else I need to do, I think? I think we're okay. I think we should be able to go. Probably set this uh, throttle up a little bit more. 
Okay, I think about two thirds there should be okay. I think because we're going to be heading towards uh, the Earth or the, the orbit. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Get it here. There we go. So we're going to. Uh, let's see. Let's. Let's see. We want to get to prograde status. Just how this is going to go. It's going to get us on a nice little path to get out of here. Uh, which is going to be pretty good. All right, we're good on. Yeah, we're out of fuel on those. Two rockets. I'm just hitting the stages, and it's gonna eject these uh, things. Though we are headed a little bit uh, to. Okay, this might not be too great. We need to get up. Yeah, because the way the prograde is, it's gonna set us for a different path here, but we're okay. We're okay, I can fix it. Just turn off SAS. Okay, those two are good. Now we're kind of on this just big fuel rocket here. That is pretty good uh, for getting us where we need to go. Okay, kind of keeping it steady. Okay, letting it go there. Uh, retrograde would be going towards. Uh, let's see, radio out, radio in. I don't think we're in too bad of shape right now. So here's kind of where we're at. Oop, I need to get off cursor mode. There we go. Right there is kind of where we're at. And we're kind of aiming to... Whoa. Let's see. Let's back out. Get this apoapsis uh, to to cover the whole planet. That's kind of what we're trying to do here. Yeah, there we go. There we go, we're making some good moves here. Uh, if I can get this camera under control, there we go. Okay. So it's getting there, it's getting there. This might take a couple of attempts to get it perfectly. The The way they have the tutorial set up is pretty easy peasy. And yeah, we got some stuff getting a little bit overloaded with heat, but we're okay. We might also have to start this over just uh, just as soon as we can here. Okay. We're good there. We're heading out of the atmosphere. Should be okay for a bit. Okay, so there you go. We got a, almost an orbit all the way around. We're going to need to fine-tune this at a certain point. Okay, our apoapsis is actually pretty good here. And it's telling me it'll take about 10 minutes and 40 seconds to for us to land again. So we're going to need to get that back up. Uh, let's see, how do we want to get this? Uh, I think we're going to... Actually, now that we have this, we can actually start doing some things here. So uh, we're going up this way. So I'm going to add a maneuver here. Uh, go this way, and we're going to set this up, and this is sort of how you set up an orbit. Which I'm kind of setting this up. Right there, we've got a decent sized orbit. Okay, that's good. Oop. Okay, we're good there. I need to get that off. There we go. So now it's telling me we have 
Now you can see down here, uh, we got about node, we're gonna hit that node in about two minutes and 16 seconds. Uh, estimated burn for this is two days, two hours, which is not great. Uh, I'm gonna see, looks our throttle's all the way up, that's why. Okay, so let's see. I could still heat having that up, okay. So our orbit is getting. All right, so we wanna hit, want it to the ma maneuver. So we're gonna get it about right. And yeah, how's our fuel looking? I look at fuel engine, seems to be okay. I don't think we've used that up much yet. No, no. Okay, so now we're going to try and get this uh, going. So I've definitely messed this up at a certain point already. Uh, so let's see, we need to... Okay, so the estimated burn is 5 minutes, 53 seconds. So, alright, so we kind of need to just get going right now. And if it works out well, it'll... Start making this blue line, the apoapsis line, the the current trajectory we're on. It'll start to balloon towards the yellow line. But we might not have uh, the fuel for that. There we go. Yeah, because we don't have much fuel for this. But, let's see. But this is a good test run, because we're... Ah, crap. So we're in orbit. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, we still have a bunch of fuel. Okay, so we didn't use all of it. That's good. Uh, we are in orbit. I have it stable right now. But in a sec, we are going to pull this back out. Get my cursor up. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to remove this maneuver. And now we want to add another. We're going to give us some time here. Uh, just at least initially. This is the way this sets up. It is pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to do that. I need to back out of this real quick. There we go. Okay, so at this point, I need to pull this back up. We're going to mess with it again. And this is a way of setting up what our next maneuver is going to be. And we want it to collide with... We want it to be about what it needs to get to the moon's orbit. The moon's orbit. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, so that's okay there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the problem is we're very vertically oriented on this orbit. Which isn't great. Uh, I might be able to actually. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, let me get back on this. And this way, you can kind of maneuver it in a sense to move this around the orbit so you can potentially find a better way. It's going to get you going somewhere. So that's going a little bit off. Okay. So actually, this doesn't even go towards the moon. Okay, so we might need to ooh, expand it a little bit more. That's probably good. Uh, let's see. Okay, we need to click on this again. There, move it around a bit. Because at that point, it's just going to send us off into the ether. I don't know what that purple line Sometimes there's just weird lines that show up at times on this. Okay, we might have borked this at a certain point. Uh, let's cancel that out right now. Uh, I think what I need to do is... So there's different things here. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. 
Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's maneuver this. Okay. Let's cancel this again. Uh, let's get this to a point that's actually going to be fairly... Uh, on point with what we're doing here. Okay. We're going to keep that there. So I'm hoping there should be another way to do this. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. A way to rotate things a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's more what I'm looking for. There we go. That's closer. Nope, that's not what we want. Uh, let's see. We got to do that. Nope. That just goes crazy. We might just need to get to a better... A flatter orbit. That might be better for us. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, no, that's not quite there. That might be better. Wait. There we go. We're starting to get to the moon. That's... Nope, nope, nope. I had it there. There we go. Okay, now we need to adjust this to get us better to the moon. But this isn't the end all be all for this, because I can make adjustments mid maneuver. Okay, so I think that's as good as we can get for right now. We're going to make this uh, a little bit better later on, but for right now, this is going to be okay. Okay, so now we're on this orbit that is going uh, I think it's going this way I think we're going that way are we going wait which way are we going they were going away from it okay so if we're going away from it that's not too bad that's not too bad uh, I just have to figure out Okay, 34 seconds is the estimated burn. The trick it was telling me before is that you want to set it to... Okay. You want to set it to... So we can just warp here. That'd be pretty fast. And I'll just warp us all the way around this to the point where we need to worry about this stuff. And that'll be pretty good. And so, 34 seconds, it says to start doing the burn about half to that. So 34 seconds, it'll be about 17 seconds too. Which obviously we still got some time here. Yeah, five minutes. That's not too bad. Uh, now I can just further move us up. Or up here. It's about a minute or so. I don't know what's not warping us. Warp already in progress. It's warping us very slowly for some reason. As the, the error it's going to show. Hold X to cancel. Okay. Okay. I don't know why it was doing that. Should be okay. If not, we can just wait normally. Oh yeah, because I need to... Uh, cancel out of that. SAS set us up for the maneuver. That's going to get us oriented right. That might be something that's causing us a problem. What was that? Oh crap, we're back in the orbit. <laughs> uh, it works more slowly when you're in atmosphere, which you might be closer to atmosphere. Yep. All right. Well, we learned some things. We need to get that orbit further out. Not so close. 
which makes sense. We can revert this flight uh, back to launch, and we'll try that again. Uh, we're doing better here. We're actually in the air, actually in space, uh, so that's good. Uh, Anglos to the east. Uh, which way is that? Okay, I see. I see it. So north here. That's south. Uh, that'd be east over here. Yeah, that's right. 90 on the nav ball? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got Jordan Ellick in the chat who's played this before. Uh, let's see. I think we're mostly okay here. Move the throttle to about two thirds. That's where the tutorial had me set it up. But I think we should be okay here. Well, I assume east and west are. It's going to get us relatively to the same place. As long as we're not messing with north and south here, but uh, I think we should be okay. Let those go. There we go. Start heading to 90. All right. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little too steep. Oh, I'm messing that up, messing that up. Oh, I did that, it's okay. Okay, we're just going to mess this up, because I cannot uh, fix this up. Let's just get to the ground. We. That's still pretty good. Uh, I'll just revert, instead of worrying about that. All right, I have most of it. Uh, I didn't actually do any landing in the tutorial. Uh, that got up pretty close to the to show time, so I ended up just going a bit there. Yeah, so I guess I'll just leave SAS off because that's not gonna. I don't have a set path on this, so we're gonna be just going here. Go those. Okay, we're going there. Oh, this is going. No, this is. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Ah, oh, this is. Yeah, this is frustrating trying to be really specific, but I think we'll we'll try it a little bit here and see what we can do. Oh man. This is tough. This is tough. Alright, so we try going a little bit slower. Okay. Yeah, I got roll on the triggers. Up, down for pitch. Yaw, okay. Huh, let's go. Messing us up big time. Yeah, see, the SAS wants to go that way. Ah, uh, jeez. Maybe I do need to go full, full bore on the, the fuel, the the throttle. I don't know. It was a lot easier definitely in the tutorial when they can kind of guide you a bit more on this stuff. Doing it by hand is a little bit tougher. 
All right, so I guess we'll do that because it'll keep us stable, and I can just keep it uh, where I need to. All right, let us go. Oop, throttle needs to go up. down. Alright, yeah, we'll try going straight up for a bit. Alright. Dropping that stuff. I feel like I can see where those things are going. Going straight back down. Yeah, there's some explosions. Alright, last of our little rockets here. Kind of all in this big one. Jebediah is excited over there. Oh, you guys can't see them. Oh, you can see Jebediah. Okay. Yeah, I might have to move the, the webcam a little bit. But for right now, we should be okay. All right, now we can kind of check out what we're looking like up here. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, I don't want to show the epilapse is right here. I think we've been cooled down the throttle a little bit here. So we're starting to get into the atmosphere. Or we're getting to space now. Okay, now we can set this up. Let's set up a maneuver right here. Hold on, we're gonna angle it out a bit. Okay. Sometimes it's gonna be tough to tell when I am looking straight on with this thing. Okay. And now we need to get this orbit so that it is way out of the Earth. Ah, well. Let's at least get us a, a good vertical spot here. Okay. We're good there. I need to get a little burn here so I know what's... Okay, three seconds. That's not too bad. Uh, we're going to need to set it right up here, warped here. Okay, I should set this over at the, uh, I could do that. Yeah, we're good there. There we go. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Ah, oh, crap, I keep... I wish I could do that more easily. Okay, we're mostly there. There we go. Get us a nice big... There we go. That's better. That's much better. Alright, now we need to know... Okay, five seconds of burn. That's good. Alright, we're making good progress here. I'll get as much closer. Okay, 38 seconds. We're going to go basically at about uh, 2 seconds. 3, 2 seconds, somewhere around there. Yeah, 
Yeah, so far so good. Okay, it's eight seconds for the burn now. All right, four seconds, we're gonna go. Oh crap, I'm a... I gotta just turn it off. That goes way too much. No, that's about right. That's about right, all right. We're good here, well, no, that's the... Okay, no. No, we're not right. Okay, three seconds. Ah, we, we messed this up, but I can fix it by just going at full throttle. I messed that up. That's my fault. Actually, what I should do, instead of wasting that gas, okay, turn it off. For a reason, sometimes the controls flip on this. Because before it was... I know probably why. I have it set the cursor controls, that's why. Save and exit, there we go. And that goes to full throttle, okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this maneuver. Because we don't need it anymore. We're going to set one here. There, we're going to set this up for proper uh, orbit. There we go. This may burn about 28 seconds. Okay. We're going to set us up. So 20 is about 14. We're going to warp to here. This is going to go. Let's see where we at. All right, a minute and a half. I would go a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, let's get out of there. Go up to here. So we're gonna watch this balloon. Uh, once we get to 14 seconds, ah, uh, we got a chance to uh, take a breather. I'm assuming you played the PC version, Jordan. Oh yeah, I have to aim at the maneuver. That's right. Yeah, PC. I have that. I just can't stream it. Okay. Are the controls as weird as this? Mixing of the, the cursor and the direct controls? Alright, we're almost here. Okay, you got custom ones. Okay. Alright, let's go. Uh, what? Oh. That doesn't change much, though. Uh, let's see. I have to actually initiate. There we go. Now back up to here. Alright. We're okay. I should probably keep an eye on the uh, the fuel there. I've got plenty of that. There's a point where this will, our blue circle will just balloon real quick. Be careful. It's going to be a little bit off from what we have set up here, I think. But as long as we get that orbit pretty good distance out, I think that's good. That's good. All right. So we can get rid of this maneuver. That's a pretty good looking uh, thing here. Let's see. Yeah, 150,000 meters. That's a pretty good distance. All right, so now I need to set up another maneuver. 
probably set up right around here. Okay, we want to hit the moon. And we need to watch out. Okay. Our angle's a little bit off, but I think we can figure that out a little bit here. I need to zoom out a little bit so we have a bit more uh, perspective here. Let's see. Yeah, cause this is going to send us a little bit too high, so we need to mess with these a little bit, get it down. That's about right for that one. This is sort of a horizontal ish. Eh. Okay, I do need to angle this a little bit more. There we go. That's not too bad. That's just a matter of getting good distance here. Actually, this is about right. And then I need to... Uh, let's see, getting this. And just finding the right angle for it to hit the moon. Sorry about the camera here. Okay. Okay, not quite finding it just yet. Let's see if we can find a better angle here. This one's not too bad. Let's see. Let's see if we can find this here. Kind of just trying to find an angle here where we will uh, run into the moon. Or come close to the moon. The heck is this other one? Is that an asteroid that's going through? Okay, we're not finding this just yet. that again. There we go. Alright, that's not going to work. Let's see. I think it's a second moon, isn't there? There's a second moon for Kerbal? Kerbin? Let's see. Maybe what we kind of need to do... I don't know. I think we probably need to head out to... Kind of break out of this orbit. And then we'll figure out a way. See, so once you get to the orbit match to Moon's own... On the maneuver, you can move the maneuver along your own orbit to find Moon. Yeah, 
And that's what we're trying to do here, is get this angled up right. Let's see, we'll try another, let's see, try set up another maneuver. See if we can get this right. Here's one where we just go flying off into space. There's one where we go straight off, okay. Kind of hard to get the right perspective to tell me if I'm actually going the right way towards its orbit. Let's see. It's not going to go where I want it to go. Let's see. Yeah, this is going under. It's probably not where I want it to go. Try see if we can mess with the orbit now. Let's see if we can find this. Comes anywhere close to the moon. Yeah, the problem is, is we're a little off center here, so it's not going to necessarily give us perfect times for when it's gonna hit this stuff. Right, so we're looking at the future here. Actually, let's zoom out a little bit more. There we go. Basically, this is just saying we need to orbit for a while. So should we just orbit for a bit and get to a point where we're more on the axis? Or should we try and... I don't know what the deal is here. I kind of want to get... Try and see what we can do here. So I kind of want to get our orbit uh, okay there we go that's my what I want to do let's see if we can get this more aligned right The problem is trying to get the right perspective so I understand what I'm doing here. Might take me a couple of maneuvers to get this right. But I figure as long as we get it there, it'll be okay. 
Let's see, there are UI things that it, you that could help you match the orbit, but I wouldn't have any idea how to see them. Yeah, that's some of the problem with this version. So let's line up for our, our uh, maneuver here. And kind of get this ready here. Uh, yeah, I need to... There we go. So we're right there. Estimated burn's about 14 seconds. And I should get rid of this, because we don't need it right now. Okay, so our maneuver is over here. Let's warp here. Just kind of get this thing a little bit oriented, a little bit better. So we can have a much better shot at hitting the uh, moon. Alright. Now we need this back up because it's going to tell us. Okay. Warp here. I think we'll just wait it out from there. No sense rocking the boat here. Alright. Actually, I could go up a little bit. Alright. We're making progress. Alright, about seven seconds we're gonna start the burn. We should hopefully make this orbit a bit more stable. Still not great, but it's better than it was before. Alright. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. The nice thing is this little thing on the right tells us just how long we need to actually use the fuel. Alright, we're pretty much there. That's much better than we were before. Okay. So now we get rid of that maneuver. If I can click on it right. Uh, wait a minute. No, the maneuver's right over here. Okay, get rid of that. That maneuver here. I uh, keep doing this. There we go. I need to zoom out. Give us a little bit of uh, view here. There we go. Hey, there's the moon. There it is. That's a pretty orbit. This doesn't have to be perfect. I think we're gonna check it out real quick. Okay, that'll stabilize it a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that's where we lose it. Okay. Okay, that's where we lose it. Okay. This one can get us... That's about as close as we can get. But that is actually pretty good. Because essentially we don't need to get all that close. We just need to get our maneuver set up. I'm just going to get our estimated burn correct here. Okay, we need to get around. Yeah, essentially we're going to orbit... If we kept going this way, we'd orbit around the Earth and Moon. With probably at some point the Moon would affect us to the point where we can... Uh, crash us or something like that. Alright, we're warping over here. Okay, 42 seconds. 
Uh, we need, okay, about 21 seconds of, we start the burn, or here. Okay, a little bit closer. We're making our way to the moon. That should be about all we need to, before we start waiting it out. Alright, there we go. We got less than a minute, so we're going to make this warp. It's a weird orbit, but it'll get us close enough. Because we're not going to go all the way that this thing takes us. We're going to get just enough so we can start making further adjustments, further maneuvers. Alright. Let's just see how we look. Okay, we're just floating here. I need to get into maneuver position. Okay. Almost forgot about that. That would make things a little bit more difficult. Alright, 10, 9, 8... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, let's watch this thing go and balloon up. We are running low on fuel, but I think once we get out of orbit, things will be a little bit better. All right, we might actually be out of fuel. Well, we stranded ourselves in space. <laughs> All right, so that's good. But hey, we're learning things. We're getting it. Uh, let's see, about an hour in on the stream. That's a lot better than the one that's uh, currently heading. I wish I could move this camera freely from all this. There probably is actually a thing. Yeah, because that's focused on the Kerbal X. But I want the camera to let me go and show you the other... This thing that's over here. This is the first one. Yeah, switch to. Okay. I'll show you what this one's doing. Because this one's just going to go off into space. Yeah, there it is. Uh, this one's headed... Where's the moon? Where's moon at? There it is. Far away from this thing. This thing is going off... Uh, let's see. Oh, is this outside of the orbit? Oh, it's already out. Outside of the moon's orbit. That thing's going to go off that way. To Nowheresville. What is this? Huh. There's something else that's going that way. Huh, okay. Well. So we're going to save that. Yeah, save. Uh, and we're going back to the Space Center. We're just going to leave these all stranded. A tighter orbit saves a ton of fuel, aiming for epilepsis of around 100 to 150. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that distance. I might be able to, s to set some stuff up. Oh, it's nighttime now. That may be the best time to do our launch. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, those uh, those can't those little rockets we had on there blew this up down here. We can repair it though. All right. That's pretty fun. Uh, we might actually need to. Yeah, these six are already gone. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Oh god, these are stupid Kerbals. Uh, oh, we had no pilots. Oh, that's great. Uh, this one's the least stupid, so... I could revert it and we get those back, but it's not really that necessary. Okay, we're going to the launch pad. Okay. But yeah, this is this is a really fun game. It's I've always been a fan of astronomy and all that. Uh, so this is just kind of a great game to kind of let you learn a bit more about some of that stuff. 
All right. Just checking a couple things here. Uh, let's see. We need to. Let's see. Just keep an eye on our fuel. I can move that. Oh. I should be able to move it. Oh, well, it's not. I just need it up. Uh, let's see. What do we need to do here? We need to set up. Set up that. To keep us stable. Uh, what else? I think we're good. I was obsessed with the game while I was playing it. One of my favorites of all time. Yeah, there's so much to learn. Lots of skills to perfect. So much attention. So much reward. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's see. Let's get a good launch here. Uh, our three new Kerbals. And I think we should be good to go. I'm trying to think if I... Oh yeah, my throttle. There we go. There we go. Can I just go straight up? Can I get up and out of here? Alright, here we go. Let go of those two canisters. Kind of unfortunate that we're going straight up, because it's just going to go right back down to the launch pad. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Oop. I should not turn off the throttle. What? What was that explosion? I think I might have just bugged out and shut that explosion up here. Alright, we're about... There goes those. Alright, now we're just on this thing's fuel. And we'll try and go easy on this thing. Because all we care about is getting our apoapsis up to... So now you can keep this apoapsis up. So kind of watch it. Once it gets to, I guess, about 100,000, we'll stop it. Cool, they're setting off fireworks around us. I wish you could really set, set that stuff to stay. But yeah, I definitely see why they have mods are such a big thing on the PC version. Alright, we're getting close to a hundred thousand. There we go. Okay, so now we're getting up into Earth. We got plenty of fuel, about half of it. Okay, I need to get off of that. Zoom in. Okay, there we go. Add maneuver. Ah, crap. I need to zoom back out again. There we go. That's that's pretty good. All right. This may burn about a minute 43, okay. So we need uh, about 50 seconds of burn here, which we're just about to approach, so. I need to get ourselves situated for this. Ah, uh, crap, it's gonna take a little bit longer. All right, once it gets there, we'll get it going. So orbit's going to be a little bit messed up here. I think we'll be about ready to go. Okay, we're going.
Okay, there we go. Yeah, fuel's staying pretty steady. So we're not losing, oh, we're losing some of it. Okay, there's that fuel. Okay. Might as well toss out that maneuver. Set up a new one here. Add maneuver. Crap, we need to zoom out again. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because I don't have that stage engaged just yet. Oh, crap. Alright, well, I messed that up. We're going to revert that flight. Uh, sorry about that. But there's always learning in science. Always trying. Always testing. Uh, you can never do anything without testing. Alright, so we're going to get our throttle set up. About where it needs to be. Uh, let's see. Get our SAS on. I do kind of wish this could show me the liquid fuel. I can, I guess I can do this. Well, let's see if I can get the right ones. Uh, the big one? Wait, which ones? Okay, no, this... Okay, no, these are three of these that are tied together. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, we don't need to see that then. Alright, I think we are good to go. Alright, Nettifert, Hadri, and Labret. Uh, these Kerbals have weird names, but it's their society, so they can do whatever they want. Alright, three, two, one. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. Try and get this angled a little bit on the 90. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, yeah. We've angled it a bit so that the... Oh, it's still going to land on there for the most part. Rockets being bad again. There we go. Nope, get the SAS. Stable it. I don't really care what it's stable at. There we go. Those go. Alright. Now we're kind of okay. Not the greatest angle, but now we can figure this out. Let's get this set up here. Kind of get it back centered a bit. All right, we go full throttle here. All right, we're getting there. 
There we go. All right. Uh, not great on the fuel front, but we're going to be okay. All right, so let's get this maneuver. There we go. Let me just double check. Okay, that could probably be minimized a little bit here. That should be okay. Okay. One minute nine, okay. So about 35 seconds, I guess. Warp here, that'll get us a little bit closer. Alright, folks. We're making another attempt here. We've stranded a couple Kerbals out here. There's one right there, actually. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I messed that up. Get him on the maneuver. It's going to cause everything to look weird. That actually might be okay. Okay. Must have run out of fuel. There we go. Alright, so, like we did before, we're gonna get rid of this one. Oh, this apple apps is getting pretty close. Uh, add maneuver. Not too close. We're just gonna go right past that, aren't we? Uh, now we need to go. Yeah, let's just burn it a bit. Get our thing around here. There we go. Almost there. All right, and we're there. We got pretty good on the fuel. All right, get rid of this. All right, now it's time to figure out how we can get to the moon. Yes, yeah, so this thing is just orbiting. These guys are just taking a, a vacation. Uh, it's gonna be okay. Okay, so we got the apoapsis over here. We're gonna maneuver there. Before we do any more of that, there we go. That maneuver is just going to send them off into space, so we'll probably not do that. Probably not. Okay. That should be enough distance. Start min messing with this. Okay, there we go. Just gonna get back on this. Just find, there we go. There we go. Oh, this will get us almost right directly at it. We're just gonna bounce right off the moon. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good right there. All right. We are good to go. Folks, things are looking up. Okay, minute 10. That's 35 seconds. Okay. So 
As long as nothing bad goes on. Okay, we're good. Orbiting like normal. We're just going to dink off the other one. They're going to do a high five with the other uh, Kerbals over here. Those guys are gone. Those guys in the distance. They're gone. They're not coming back. They'll be alive the whole time because there's no food or anything you have to worry about here. But uh, everything else. Uh, you know, we figured out how to keep people alive without having them eat or excrete anything. Alright, so we got less than a minute here. About 25 seconds. Uh, we'll do a countdown in a sec. But we're going to plink off the moon by the end of this. And yeah, we got about 40 minutes or so. Oh, we'll go long. We'll go long. We'll do as long as we need. Unless somehow some bad things happen. But Alright, we're going. Alright, we got plenty of fuel. There's our orbit ballooning. I need to get that off of there. There we go. This is a very stupid crew. This is a very stupid crew. They are all stupid people. Well, the one isn't stupid. He just doesn't know much of anything. He has no courage. Alright, we're going there. We're, got, we're gonna get there. This is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We got tons of fuel, too. And... Stop! Alright. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. This is a moon-affected orbit, I believe. Alright, so we are in good good stuff here. Okay. Oh, well, it's auto-saving for us. It's realized we've done something good, and it wants us to actually save. Okay, so now we need to get rid of this maneuver. Because we no longer need it. There's a lot of lines going on here, but the important thing is this blue one is going towards... Oh, there we go. The blue one is going towards the moon. Uh, what we do need to do is just say, hey, warp over here. We won't use any fuel, because this is all just going to warp us time. So we're going to get closer to the moon. Oh, look at that. It's going to some cool stuff up here. Okay, and here's the moon. Alright, so we need to set up a new uh, maneuver because we want to get ourselves in orbit of the moon. That's what we want to do. Uh, things are actually looking pretty up for us. So we need to figure out a way we can screw this up. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's not... Okay. There we go. Well, no. No, there... Let's see. This might be we just need to get a little closer to the moon. Then we can do a little bit more stuff here. That seems like it's okay. Uh, okay, we're doing okay here. Uh, let's see. Okay, 15 second burn. Okay. Okay. Let's see. The maneuver's gonna be up here, so we're gonna get a little bit closer. Whew, okay. Okay, things are getting closer here. We've got 19 minutes until this warp needs to, until this thing needs to happen. We're gonna warp here. Oh, they're giving some nice new music. Okay. Okay, now we need to set ourselves up here. Okay, seven minutes. Warp here. All right, folks, we got good stuff going on here. The moon, she's right over there. 
and we're gonna do some stuff as we get closer here. So this is where our original, our current orbit is going. We want to get it going off in a dis different place. Might actually cancel this. No. Okay, no, it's figured it out. Okay. Yeah, it's just showing real weird. Okay. Okay, current burn is 19 seconds, so we're going to start launching about 10 uh, seconds there where it says node in T down at the bottom. That's where I'm looking at. Uh, we got about less than 20 seconds, or about 20 seconds here. All right. Let's see, nine seconds. Okay. All right, it's coming down to it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're using our fuel. Okay. Some weird stuff is going on here. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. So we're going to take a... Okay, we need to remove the maneuver. There we so. go. So we're looking at this. We're going to crash into the moon. Which will be spectacular, but that's not going to be the end of the stream. Actually, what I might do... Save it right here. We'll save this as... Oh no, this... I just spelled that wrong. Moon crash. So we'll save this. We'll check that out as a moon crash situation right there. Okay. So this is where we're going to start to be affected by the moon. Actually, might just let us get closer to there actually get into being affected by the moon. There we go. Uh, cancel this. Cancel this. Whatever's going on. Okay. Okay, so we need to add a maneuver that's going to get us uh, around the moon. There we go. Into a place where we might actually be able to start orbiting it. Okay, not that one. Okay, that's not that's not where we want to go. That's gonna slingshot us around a little bit. We need to get an orbit. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that. Okay, let's look at... Oh! We had one. There we go. There we go. There is an orbit around the moon. That's probably pretty good right there. Okay. Alright, we have orbits around the moon. Or we will. Uh, okay, 47 seconds. Okay, so about... 23, 24 in. Okay, so we're going to set this up. So we got 13 minutes to get there. Alright. And just so you know, folks, this is a one-way ticket vehicle. I never said we're going to uh, land on the moon and come back. We're going to try and land and we're going to have fun. Uh, I don't know there's too much control you can have over the Kerbals themselves. But they're going to live on the moon. They're going to be our new moon colony. Alright, here we go. I need to get us in maneuver position. Okay, two minutes. There we go. We're making it.
But alright folks, this is some Sunday magic right here. Some Sunday science, I'll call it. Uh, let's see, we got... Okay, we got direct connection to the space center, but we cannot transmit science. We got full control of all the, the people here, okay. We're doing well, we're doing well, we got... Okay, f Okay, 34 seconds, so it's 17. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. We're going to watch this as our orbit uh, turns, or this, uh, we're going to turn into an orbit here. There's our periapsis. Oh, we have no fuel. Oh, so much for that. Let's eject that. But the nice thing with this vehicle... I need to turn up SAS. Yeah, but also I have that save beforehand. So we can make uh, potentially some better uh, maneuvers. We'll just send them into a violent spin. They're not going to get sick at all. Ooh, I wish I knew how fast that spin was. Oh, it's auto-saving right there. Okay. Yeah, we need to go the opposite direction. Alright, so... I can just do this and it'll eventually stabilize them. There we go. Alright, so, there are some vehicles that have, like, a little bit of, a uh, propellant, don't they? I was wondering if that is a thing. Oh, can I Eva them? There we go. Uh, how do I control it? Yeah, they can kind of crawl a little bit on this. Oh! <laughs> They've let go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Eva report. <laughs> report. Okay. Sure. Keep it. Uh, there we go. Let's see. I thought I could take control of these guys. Oh well. So we still have our save. Our moon crash save. Luckily. We got some uh some adjustments we can make. I do kinda wish it would you could be able to set up maneuvers within what fuel you have. Yeah, we do not have much fuel here, do we? Uh let's see. Let's go back to the map view. Okay. I guess I might let it go a little bit closer. And go for a little bit of a smaller orbit. If we can. Alright, there we go. Alright, warping in. Alright. We got SAS on. Let's see, is there something we can do here? 
and maneuver. Okay, let's keep that one. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, stop going for such a large orbit, especially since there's no atmosphere on the moon, on moon. I think. That's not gonna do it. Maybe if we. It's not gonna do it. Let's see, let's get it close as we can. Let's see. There we go. There's orbit. Okay. Ooh, okay. There we go. Much smaller orbit. Go for that. That should be much better. Especially if we do not have to worry about an atmosphere. Oh, Jordan, you think I'm going to land? This isn't a lander. Uh, I got a parachute. These are not... There's nothing going on here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. That might be better. I think we're okay here. I think we're okay here. Okay, minutes. Ooh, we might not have a minute's worth of burn. Let's see if we can make an adjustment to this that. Yeah, we can do a, a, a moonshot straight at it. Yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to be so ginger about this. We're gonna... We're basically gonna fling ourselves at it. This would at least be better for us. Minute seven. Hmm. Let's get us... Going into maneuver position here. All right, four minutes. It's not too bad. There we go. Okay. That's as much fuel as we've got right there. Where's the uh, moon? Okay. Oh, there's the moon. All right. Okay. I'll probably save this as another save. Let's see. Let's just call it Moon Crash 2. Save that. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get a little bit closer. Oop. All right. So about thirty-three seconds. All right. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. It's getting closer. There we go. That's actually not a bad approach, I think. That's going to give us at least a little bit of room to do some things here. Uh, what just happened here? Okay. 
All right, so we're going to do some things here. I don't know why we still have this green line. I must have hit something that shows that. Uh, what is it? Let's see. Oh, I didn't know there was an abort. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't know what this. Okay. So we're going to be approaching the moon here. I don't know how long this would take. Let's see. Okay, 20 minutes. All right, let's get Now, I want it I want to get us to like 5 minutes. We're just going to watch it happen. This will be about right. All right. So here we are. Uh, what would this be retrograde, I guess? Wait, where? Where's the moon? There it is. Oh, good. That's going to be fun. Yeah, we got 260,000 meters to go. All right. Let's see what happens here. Uh... I think we should be okay here. So what do we have this thing set to? Minimum pressure. Oh man. Let's save this once more. We're gonna moon approach. We can try this a couple times just in case it we mess it up, which you probably will the first time, at least. Uh, control from here. Lights on. Make sure they got their lights on. Let's do a crew report. Yep, that's good. I don't think we can transfer anything, can we? Oh yeah, might as well decouple. There we go. I wonder where that's going to go. Alright. So we have about seven minutes to go. I think we'll move up a little bit more. Warp here. Yeah, we're going to try and land on the moon. We're not coming back. It's a one-way trip. Oh, there's that thing. Oh, that thing's probably just going straight for the moon. Alright, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, it's not even going to tell me if it's safe or not to deploy the chute. Uh, there's the couple debris, 170 meters away, but rapidly approaching the moon. It's going to start another crater, so that'll be fun. Hello, Kerbal. I don't want to still have this up. Okay. Let's see. Let's review that report. Can we get it to? Oh. Uh, no comms device on this vessel. That's okay. Oh, uh, there we go. We're slowly getting there. Uh, where's that debris at? There it is. I wish that tracked in here too. It might. No, I don't see it over there. 
They're essentially going the same way we were. Just less, uh, less load on it. Yeah, so it's moving quite a bit faster. Okay, how far away are we? Four minutes. Ooh, this is going to take a bit. Eh, that's fine. Yeah, we're here for the journey. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's like a full solar system, isn't there, for this, uh... For you to mess with. There's two moons for Kerbal. There's like a few other planets. I believe. I don't think it's as big as our solar system. I think it might be like five planets. Five or six planets. Uh, at the very least. I think it's as much. That's what they have. There's our fuel tank down there. You only made it to the moon and back? Yeah. I'm kind of just fascinated to watch that fuel canister, see where that lands. Because we're getting here pretty, cool, pretty well. Uh, 100,000 meters. Yeah, so there's much less gravity. I'm trying to think how that would... It means we probably need to do it a little bit sooner. But also it won't deploy until it needs to anyway. Well, worst case scenario is... Uh, we can just reload it. Alright, there's that fuel canister, it's right over here. It's making good progress. We got an abolator, I don't know what that's for. Uh, oh, that's for the parachute, okay. Okay. Well, actually, this would be better. Okay. Uh, this is for different parts of the, the main vessel here. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, that debris is still going. Yeah, our parachute has been primed. Fifty six thousand meters to go. Oh, that thing's still going. And there is, uh, there is a status thing you can pull up. I'm trying to see if there is what the controls for that are. So I forget what that is. Uh, where is it at? Uh, might not be... Oh well. We'll worry about when we need to. Alright, we're fast approaching. Netiford is excited. Hadri's excited. Lobret's kind of uh, muted. He's kind of worried, but he's uh, he's cautiously optimistic. Yeah, you guys can't see the, the Kerbals. Uh, let me see if I can move the webcam real quick. There you go. So you can see their faces, their lovely faces. There you go. There you go, you can see it. 
All right, 20,000 meters. That debris is still going. It makes sense because we're about 16,000 away and that thing's only about 600 meters away. That still has a ways to go. All right, I hope our settings for this uh, parachute are okay. It's coming up. We're going, ooh, really fast. There's the debris. There's the debris. Oh! <laughs> oh, the parachute doesn't do much without an atmosphere? Okay. Well, catastrophic failure. The whole mission lasted 5 hours, 15 minutes. Oh. Uh, well, we landed on the moon. I didn't say we were going to be alive. I didn't say we are going to come back. If you thought that, you clearly did not know what we were doing. Uh, Alright. There's our uh, flight events. Heat shield collided into the surface. Oh. Kerbal X crashed into the moon. You know what? Let's screenshot that. Alright, so that I think is a uh, pretty good uh, look at this. So there's where we used to be. Uh, what can we do? Hey, right, let's uh, let's see what the uh, the Kerbal that's going over here. Uh, let's see. No, because I wanted to go over there. I want to go... Oh, it's not letting me. I need to zoom out. There we go. So this Kerbal is just near the planet. It's just never going to get back. This one's going off... Uh, going for distance. Why does it look like the... the Death Star is about to fire upon this vessel? I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so that is. Let's go back to the let's see, tracking station. This is probably better. Uh, so we crashed into the moon. We achieved our goal. NASA's a lot smarter than I am. A lot more resources. Oh, hey, it's the tracking station. Okay, so this is where I can actually view. As is Elo, Pole. Uh, is there a way I can zoom out? Toggle probes, rovers, landers, ships, uh, stations, bases, planes, relays, EVAs, space objects, and uh, unknown. We got unknowns. And we got sites. Okay, what does Pole have going on? Wait, where is Pole? Uh, oh, I don't... I'm not trying to kill them. Uh, where's Pole at? That's Bop. Okay, there's Tylo. How do I zoom in? Uh, how do I zoom in? It was the first moon of Jewel. Uh, zoom in. Okay, never mind. Okay. That's a moon, okay. Ooh, this is Bop. Small moon in the vicinity of Jewel. Pull is another moon for... Ooh. There's Elo. 
proper planet. Oh, this is their uh, Pluto equivalent. There's the sun. Moho. There we go. Alright, that's pretty neat. Ooh, Eve. He was pretty. The purplest object in the solar system. Such a planet to Kerbin. There's Gilly. Orbiting around Eve. There's Kerbin. Uh, it's setting up its Death Star. There's Mun. There's Minmus. Which is pretty good. It's smaller than the moon. There's Duna. It's our the red planet. There's Ike. Dress. It's the first planet to be considered to be a dwarf. Okay. Ooh, Jewel. Nice gassy planet. Lathe. Oh, this is a cr Okay, Vol, Tylo, yep. So this is orbiting around Jewel. Okay, that's neat. Uh, can I... Let's get out of that. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's neat. It's got water and some uh, bodies of land on there. Okay. Alright, so I think that is a... Uh, a much better look at this game uh, than we did yesterday. Yesterday was just dumb. We did uh, some barely poor stuff with that. And I'm guessing we'd have to send uh, craft out here to actually examine these planets to actually know more about them. Uh, which would be pretty cool to do. I'm going to take a while, I guess there's some better people on uh, YouTube that have done all that stuff. That are probably former like rocket scientists and such, astronomers and all that, that have studied that stuff specifically, know all about how to set this stuff up. But yeah, I definitely encourage you to check out the game or some of those videos. It's amazing stuff. Giant Bomb did a, a good little a series of videos trying to uh, get to, I think, the moon, and then they stranded a bunch of Kerbals, so they had to set up missions to rescue the Kerbals. Uh, and then they brought in an expert YouTuber who managed to get all of them in, like, a couple hours. And that was it. It's some amazing stuff there. Yeah, that guy's, they're, they're dead. They're going off that way. I don't know what's going on here, what this green line is for. I assume that's like an asteroid that's gone through, but thank you everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. We actually uh, make contact with the moon. It exists. Uh, there are three graves there. Uh, not formal graves, but uh, there are uh, debris there. Plenty of debris. Uh, maybe another time I'll play some more of this and I will use one of the... Uh, Oh, uh, how do I get out of this mode? Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe another time we'll use one of the craft that can actually uh, get to the moon. Yeah, we're still on day two of this uh, the station's existence. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's some more here that are actually better. They have landers on them and such. So these are made for orbiting as a Mun Explorer. Economy class launcher, lander for Mun and Minmus. Batteries, fins, and science sold separately. There's a rover. And yeah, this is like all the stuff you get in the in the sandbox mode. They kind of throw all this stuff out there for you so you can uh, try it all out on your own. Learn from that as well as doing the career mode. Okay, wait. And they also have some scenarios set up that you can do your own cool stuff with. They have them all set up ready for you. Uh, I think there's some specifically for the moon uh, that are pretty cool. Yeah, 
Eva stuff. Exploring Gilly. Uh, yeah, Moon Orbit, Moon Rover, uh, and some of these other stuff. Refuel at Minmus. Uh, using space stations, all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff in this game. And uh, it's on sale currently on the Xbox One for 10 bucks. I don't know if the Steam version's on sale uh, at the moment. But yeah, if you had the PC version, there's plenty of mods out there. I don't know if the game itself has uh, support for that stuff. Uh, like, internally in it, or if it's just you have to get uh, the mods from various sites. I have a bunch of cool stuff for... Okay, they do have a, a sale on uh, Steam for 10 bucks. You can get that. You can get the complete edition with uh, the new expansion. I like two expansions, actually. Breaking Ground and Making History, I think they're... You can get both of those for 25 bucks with the game. And the game for 25 bucks. So the one... Yeah, that's actually a pretty decent deal. You said you get half off of the ex new ex newest expansion, too. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Alright, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you had a good time. Uh, we'll be back on Tuesday to stream some more stuff. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what that will be. Uh, it depends if we get any codes or anything like that over the next few days. But at least for now, we're going to wing it and figure something out then. But thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you have a good night and hopefully a good week coming up. Have a good one.